okay, we have a series, and we're going to find out if this converges or diverges. So we can surely uh, use a comparison test with this one. We can use a comparison test because uh, well, this is very similar to something that we know about. So, for example, we know that this is very close to a sum in which we would just have n over n square root of n. Because adding 1, does that really make that much of a difference? You know, they're, they're pretty similar. They're, we, can, we can intuit that they're of the same kind of thing. But we can also intuit that this one's going to be greater because we're adding 1 in the numerator. So that sum is definitely going to be greater by the end uh, if we have the same bounds there. So now we can cancel out n's over there, right? We can't really do this with, um, you know, if we're being strict and rigorous about what this actually means, and, and you know, just make these moves. These are not equivalent. These are not equivalent. But we are making a comparison. We are not saying that these are equivalent. So we can notice that we have something which is this, and this is equivalent to that. So we're comparing this to this, and this is that. So it's like comparing this to that. And this would still be greater than that series over there. n equals 1 to infinity. And now, as you can see, we have a p-series. And we know something about a p-series. A p-series is of the form where we have 1 over n to the p. We know that if p is greater than 1, this converges. If it is 1 or less than 1, then it's going to diverge. So in our case, we have n to the 1 half power, n to the 1 half power in that series, which we are comparing. So this is less than 1, so this is going to diverge. This diverges, and that thing is greater. It's, it's even a greater series than something which is already diverging. So obviously that's going to diverge.